Hi everybody, it's Tina here, back again from Hummingbird Tales. I've got a box here, I'm really excited about this. This is a swap that I've been participating with, Heidi McGregor. Heidi is a lovely lady who's got her own channel here on YouTube, so I will link her below. And she's known as Frizzy Lizzie Designs. It's not Frilly Lizzie, it's Frizzy Lizzie, I think, Designs on Instagram. So I will put that link below as well. But anyway, I purchased a beautiful journal from her not so long ago, about three or four months ago, little TN style journal. And I actually asked her if she would make me a ring binder journal as a custom order. And she suggested a swap. And well, I was absolutely delighted. I do love participating in swaps. So although I haven't finished Heidi's yet, because I've just finished Karen O'Reilly's, I am working on it at the moment. She, bless her, finished mine and has sent it. And I've had this since yesterday, and it's only now at nine o'clock in the evening that I've had the chance to sit down and open it. So enough waffle. Um, all that I asked Heidi to do was to make something vintagey, naturey, and then a ring binder journal because I just fell in love with ones, um, the ones that she's created recently. So you must, must check Heidi's work out. She is absolutely so talented. She's a real inspiration. So that's my little face saying hello. I've basically cut around this box, but I haven't opened it. So I'm going to open it now. <gasps> oh, my days. Oh, this is massive. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. There's more. Heidi, what have you done? Oh, wow. Right, I've just got to show you this. Look at this. She knows. Oh, my days. Heidi. Oh, my good Lord. Right, I'm just going to pull these out. <laughs> she knows that I absolutely love this well blue and look at this absolutely beautifully packaged look at this tablecloth actually i think it's a chair back but oh absolutely beautiful and she's got this feather it's a oh it's a it's an earring right i'll put the journal over there and I'm just getting over the shock, Heidi. It's so beautifully packaged. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, as these were rattling, look at the size of these rings. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. I mean, if not a journal, I could store lace and all sorts on them. Oh my goodness, thank you. And look at this. Isn't that just divine? Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I, this must be what's either left of this, the covering or some snippets from other pieces, but it's just beautiful linen. Oh, look. Now this is stunning it's actually another chair back and I made a pouch out of one of these recently it's it's beautiful Heidi my goodness me is so incredibly kind and oh my goodness look at this linen <gasps> this is a tablecloth and I'm just going to show you the crocheted edge Heidi this is going to be hoarded this is so beautiful. I, I could not cut this up. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Can you see the linen? The woven linen? Oh my goodness. Heidi, thank you so much. You're so, so very kind. Oh, I'm speechless. Right, let's, let's just... I don't want to crease it up. <laughs> I'll just put these beauties over here. I just love that. Look at that. I will leave that there. 
I'm squishing all my little flowers, which I'm going to be drying out soon. So she's got a package here. Oh, look, she's got a little deer on here. And there's some washi. It's like a glassini bag, so I'll slip that off and just undo this. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at these. There's some beautiful butterfly appliques here. I do love butterflies. Oh, and look at these, these little flowers. Oh, they are just stunning. Really pretty. Oh, look at this. I love using beads to make boho beads and any kind of little dangles and things, but wow. Look at that sparkle. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, wow. That's a faceted one. And I something else just caught my eye. Where's that gone? There's another one. Heidi, these are absolutely beautiful and, and so kind. Thank you so much, sweetie. And look, the bag actually matches my nails. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Thank you, thank you. And there's another bag here. I just love the way you've wrapped all this. Everything just matches perfectly. And this is like a little piece of blue vellum with a butterfly sticker. And here we have got some vintage book page. And I will end up reading that because I do love vintage book pages. As you know, I use them in my crafts. And oh wow, she's just got tons of beautiful things here. Oh my goodness, this is a teeny weeny weeny envelope. Oh, look, little hummingbirds. Oh, Heidi, they're adorable. They are so teeny weeny. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, what a teeny weeny envelope with the most beautiful hummingbirds. This is amazing. This is better than Christmas. <laughs> And there's some, um, these like game dominoes. Oh look, they are quite old. Thank you so much, Heidi. I'm gonna put all of these on this bag so I don't move my little flowers. Don't lose any of them. Into the bear pit of Mark James. That's like a library, library cards. Oh, fantastic. See, I haven't got anything like this. And these are like, are they like a bingo-y, ticket-y thing? It says out there. It must be like a time card type of thing. Wow. And there's a glassine bag. Nice long one. Is it one or two? There's two. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, oh, my days, look. Vintage. Rochdale Lanx. These are like vintage bits and pieces. I haven't got anything vintage that's authentic. And the paper is so thin. That, that's that got a stamp on it. I don't know if these are the real thing or they look real. It doesn't matter. Oh my days. Look, vintage letters. 1982, well that's vintage for me. I mean, that's 30 years ago. And I'm not gonna read these now, but I will have a read. Oh my goodness. Look at the writing. Oh, Heidi, these are incredible. I have been looking for old letters and I can't find any in Cornwall. I don't know why. If anybody knows where in Cornwall I can find an auction that does things like this, please will you let me know because I honestly don't know where to go to get the authentic, the Irishman's Tower, Hogden Tower, Hog, I can't even say it. Fantastic, 
fantastic. I haven't even got to the journal yet, so I'm going to have to do this in two parts. And I will read these later. Oh, thank you, Heidi, so much. I really appreciate it. Look, these are like um, pharmacy papers, syrup and drop, superior taste, dosage accuracy. And that paper is just so thin. It is like, I don't know, it's like glassine paper almost. Oh, wow. And look at this letter card Heidi this is so kind of you to share these with me I am oh look 1958 dear Miss Geraldine I am the poodle I oh I don't know I can't read that now I'm just too excited this is just this reminds me of um, the letters that some of the artists on YouTube make up, you know, and they do like a little pile of letters. And I am going to give that a go only because you've inspired me by sending me a little pack of letters and envelopes. I am absolutely overjoyed. Thank you so much, Heidi. That means so much to me because I really haven't got anything like it. Really nothing like that at all and there's some vintage papers here of butterflies and caterpillars i mean these are just so precious thank you so much for sharing these with me they are beautiful do you know the thing about old books which has actually always since i was a little girl i can remember finding in a charity shop once a really old book and it was falling apart and I can just remember the smell of the pages and I can't remember the date of the book I can't even remember what it was about and I had it for so many years and then I don't know what happened to it but that was when my interest for vintage started and the thought that somebody had owned this book that lived a life and it was in my hands now Decades later, it's just mind-blowing. This is from a, a pair's, it's like an encyclopedia, I think. Now, is that in English? Four daughters, yes. Oh, thank you so much. And this is so thin. You know, I'm going to use these in my own personal journal, Heidi. I, I can't part with these. Thank you so much. That is just phenomenal thank you darling really really appreciate that and then if that wasn't enough look oh, he's going in my nature journal without a doubt and I'm going to put the butterfly in as well what was on this one and the little deer so cute and again she's wrapped some more book pages around and oh my goodness this paper's like tissue thin Thank you so much, Heidi. Wow. And then we have another bag that she's beautifully wrapped. I love this washi. And what she sent here. Oh, look. These beautiful little white envelopes. How cute are these? Oh, again, I'm going to embellish these for my own journals. I have to it's just so kind and here's some wage packets wow and oh wow this is um it's an envelope but it's almost like inside out that's incredible and it's got something on here oh aren't they lovely oh thank you so much Heidi they are so beautiful and oh we've got a marble envelope here so beautiful and last but not least oh this is beautiful paper this is like i don't know if this is parchment paper or what but it's very high quality it's beautiful oh heidi thank you thank you thank you my friend so so much and before I open this journal, I'm going to 
pause it now guys and come back again in a minute because I need to do the journal justice and that is just opening the goodies Heidi Heidi thank you from the bottom of my heart and I'll be back in a moment for part two speak to you in a moment bye for now